What's up, you bad Larrys? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and I am back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. I do apologize in advance if there's some background noise and some, like, banging in the background. It is just so windy outside. We're getting some, uh, some serious stormage going on over here, and, uh, my windows are very sort of old and shuddery so they they slam a lot so i do apologize for that i just had to uh had to make this video a thing in order to uh to keep the channel going power through the window slamming <laughs> uh so yeah either way we are here in a republic military base with sergeant apo and you see that they are in a very um intense defensive position right now and that is because this is the sequel to our last uh zombie apocalyptic type of a thing with the Geonosian brain worms where they attacked Kamino, the Geonosians, along with uh, Geonosian zombies. Um, I'm using zombies as a simplest term. I did have a few comments saying, well, they're not really zombies. And you're right. Um, they, they aren't really dead. Their sort of brain is just messed up by the worm, essentially, allowing them to obey orders. But I feel like zombie is the simplest term to put them. So, uh, one of those zombie worms managed to escape on Camino and came here to this random Republic base where Sergeant Apo was stationed and got into the barracks. So, these barracks in here have been completely infected. All of these clone troopers are zombies right now. Um, and then... Da -da -da -da, these two barracks over here as well were infected. So really, the only people remaining are the night watchmen who have realized that this was happening. They saw it on the security cameras. So before daybreak, they set up defenses and things like that, all of the night watchmen and Sergeant Apo, and waited for the zombies to come for them. Um, so yeah, the zombies will be attacking. Sergeant Apo and his troopers will be defending. It should be really fun and a pretty cool time. Uh, be sure to check me out on all my links in the description uh, at the end of the video if you do enjoy it. My Instagram, my Twitter, my Overtone, my Discord, my Steam group, my Patreon, all those fun things. You can purchase some Bad Larry merch or some uh, Daily Tactics merch in the description as well. Just wanted to throw that little plug in there if you want to get a bit more involved in the channel. It's always appreciated. All right, I'll be right back and we can get this started. All right, guys, here we go. I think we're going to go in slow-mo for just the first start of this so we can see the action in epic slow motion. Um, so we're going to press start, and they should really all come from this little door here. And so we can see the zombies coming forward slightly and immediately getting shot at by the clone troopers. Basically, their orders were to fire upon sight, and they really stuck to that. A few clone defenders going down, but not before they're getting some good licks in on these zombies, but the zombies are sort of splitting up across the walls here and uh, getting out of the way of the blaster fire. More of the defenders are under a lot of fire now, some of them going down in the process. A lot of these barricades are getting uh, killed and blocked off as the zombies begin to push further inward in this first hallway here. Let's check in on this side hallway over here. It looks like this section of clone troopers who were defending the very opening of the door did go down, but not before they got at least like 10 kills there. Very, very nicely done. Then these stair troopers over here, these guys are down to just their pistols here. I mean, obviously, um, this was sort of a surprise attack from these Geonosian brain worms, so they didn't have their best weapons with them. Uh, but these troopers with the pistols, as well as these troopers back here who have DC 15 C's and A's, are shooting down a lot of the troopers as they try to climb up these stairs. This is going to be a tough choke point here for the uh, Geonosian brain worm infected to get through, though uh, they are grenading, which is a very good strategy as that will definitely take out a lot of these clone troopers up here. I mean, that grenade alone killed like five or six. And another grenade is disrupting these troopers who were guarding uh, the very front staircase entrance here. Uh, but the zombies still, when they come up, are getting blasted by hundreds of laser shots all at once. Let's check back in over here. Once again, these mad lads over this way uh, have destroyed the majority of the defenses here. Uh, there's only a few troopers in this first hallway left to defend. Let's go into normal speed now. Uh, these two over here who are just sort of crouched down with their pistols out. Yo, you can't have a zombie video without people using pistols or shotguns, and there are a few shotgun uh, troopers in this as well. It's just sort of a staple of the genre, you know, to use the pistol and shotgun. This guy's taking out a grenade, hoping to get uh, a nice one off on these zombies. He lobs it over there, 
whips out his uh, his weapon once again, gets a, uh, a duo kill, and then a grenade comes back at him and takes him out. These pistol dwellers over here, down to just one. Um, this poor lad is probably quivering right now. I mean, it's brother against brother. He probably doesn't want to shoot his own men, but... I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do during the zombie apocalypse, you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of... Not a lot of wiggle room. But, uh, he's chilling here. A few troopers running by him. He's just sort of standing there, hoping not to get seen as the troopers sort of duck to the ground. Oh my god, this guy literally just needs to turn around and he can kill him. Crawling forward here. Let's see. Oh, he tries to get up, but gets absolutely domed there. A lot of the... Uh, Gene Ocean troopers. Oh, they're all like in here. Um, well, we'll let them sit there while we check back in on this front over here, which, as we can see, is just resulting in tons and tons of deaths as the defenders just absolutely destroy them when they crest over this hill here. Uh, it is brutal for these attackers right now, and uh, the nice and healthy 501st troopers are uh, are doing a great job here. It's a it's a tough point to take, to be fair. Um, even actually some guys way over here who were guarding this door ended up going down. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so back over here. Let's try and flush some of these guys out. Um, they're sort of derping out quite a bit. Uh, let's just, yeah, try and... Because they're all just getting stuck, I think, in this maze of barracks. And the AI just isn't quite smart enough to, uh, to really get themselves out of that position. So we'll just bring them forward so they can uh, actually position... Uh, position themselves in the battle properly. Some of them might legitimately be stuck and unable to move, so uh, we'll filter out those who can actually move and are just being dumb and those who cannot and uh, are not. Okay, so that's the majority of the force forward now. We'll let them uh, chill with that. They're still getting totally holed off at this, um, this choke point over here. As they round the corner, they're getting gunned down, but now there's quite a number of them here, and they're sort of flooding in. Um, not getting a lot of shots off. Grenades coming out, though. Uh, that's bad for the attackers, too. These guys really aren't doing too much damage to the defenders. The defenders are really standing tall and doing a great job of just wiping out uh, anyone who rounds that corner right now. It is absolutely brutal. Oof. Oh, that was a big bang on my window right there. I wonder if you guys could hear that one. Um, I don't know, like, what the mic picks up. The window's kind of in front of me, so, like, the mic not... might. Mike might not uh, be hearing all of it, so that'd be for the best. I don't know. It's like a crazy storm right here, guys. Um, there was uh, some snow flurries and things like that that have been going on and off periodically. Um, my building's heat is not working currently, so it is pretty freezing temperatures right now. Um, I'm fully dressed up in sweatshirts and stuff like that while recording this. Um, in fact, one of the... Uh, the clusters of dorms here at my school, they lost power completely. Um, so it is pitch black there. That would totally suck to be there. Luckily enough, I was in a building that still has power, so I'm actually able to do this video for you, which is very nice. So we're seeing the clones just getting full stopped here on this staircase. Okay, that guy uh, is a magician. What? <laughs> Pardon me? That was, uh, that was some fancy flying there. Uh, this hallway, I feel like, is the best hope for the infected clone troopers. It honestly seems like the the way for them to go, but at the moment, they're just sort of all chilling here. Not really making that big push. We shall see if they, they do end up doing a big push. Sergeant Appa really hasn't even gotten involved in the battle yet. Wait. I think some infected climbed up this wall and actually attacked... Sergeant Appa over here, in fact, killing one of his troopers. Um, that's kind of impressive. We can see their bodies here. They must have climbed up the walls there. The infected man. I'm telling you. They're crazy. Mamma jammas. Alright, let's try and, uh, since these guys really aren't attacking, let's try and just sort of send them forward. Trying to get the, the AI to, to do things just to make this video a little bit more entertaining for you watchers. Because I know it can be quite boring when the AI doesn't really do anything. And the point of these videos is to entertain. Um, a lot of people cry that it's not realistic enough when I, you know, control units and things like that. Or it, it does bias towards certain sides. But um, in reality, my, my whole 
thing here is I'm I'm here to entertain you guys, and just sitting here watching a bunch of clones, you know, hug a wall like this is is not entertainment in my eyes. So, um, I'm trying to do what the majority would like, and it seems like a lot of you guys are understanding about that. So they did finally actually take this hallway here with a little bit of pushing um, and goading from me, though. I mean, look at these losses here. This is unreal the amount of troopers that they had to lose just in order to take this position. Uh, and they still have not started their assault on this uh, section of the map yet for uh, this side over here. The troopers over this way still trying to take the stairs, still getting gunned down as they do so. Most of them sort of hiding in this room. I won't run them up the stairs, but I will push them in here so they aren't stuck in this room anymore. Again, I think a few of them did get stuck behind these bunks here. Yeah, they somehow shove themselves in there, so we got to, like, drag them out. All right, and they are sort of migrating a little bit towards the staircase here. Um, a few of them looking for some shots, but not really meeting any. I mean, these, these are some brave troopers. Oh, we have an assault going on over here, too, now. The first of the infected coming up the stairs over here on the opposite side, and more men coming through as well. Now, with this simultaneous attack, we might see some more deaths from the defenders. I don't know if it'll be enough. The, um... The Infective had certainly lost plenty of troopers at this point that, you know, they might not be able to recover. More grenades being thrown. That one managed to snag that trooper right there. Um, the Infected still going after the staircase. This brave trooper was standing there, but he gets shotgunned down, actually. Um, now, these guys are going to be able to run up the stairs here and fight back against the clone defenders. Simultaneously, these guys back here are fighting and getting a bit more of a foothold here and actually managing to get a few kills on these 501st troopers. There is still a uh, unit of troopers in this weapon storage room over here, so that's something to look out for. And then, of course, we have Sergeant Apo's final stand up here. So uh, the battle is far from over, but it does look like the, the infected have managed to secure this room here now. And uh, they just have two more rooms to go, both of which have heavy, heavy choke points. The first one being right here. The second one, of course, being right here. So... Uh, it'll be curious to sort of see how they manage to handle these. And the first one over here starting to round off some fire with a DC-15A here. Managing to cop the infected kill. That might be this guy's first kill. Let's check it out. Yep, first kill for him. And all of these guys. Um, yeah, they also have no kills. Let's check out Apo and his troopers. Uh, Apo's got... Uh, oh no, sorry. This guy's got one kill. Apo does have a kill. That's pretty cool. This guy's got none. This guy's got one. This guy's got one. That guy's got none. Okay, interesting. Um, Apo's troopers now fully engaged with the enemy here. Shooting them a little bit. Uh, these lads over here still holding tight as they're under assault as well. It is a long and drawn out battle within this uh, clone facility here. And I'm sure they will be happy once this battle is over. Which hopefully the regular clones will win. I don't know if it'll happen. Um, but I mean, they, they'll get some well-deserved rest here. Not only mentally, but physically, you know? In terms of physically, you know, it, it takes a lot to fight a battle. I'm sure these guys are exhausted by now after this drawn-out engagement. But also mentally, you know, you're having to put down your own your own brothers here, which is, is very, very tough. Even if they might not be acting like your brothers at the moment, it's, uh, you know, in your head, it's still sort of the same thing. And, uh, that's gotta be tough. Um, yeah, these guys holding strong, though. It's sort of a trickling in type of an assault right now from the Zombos. Not really, like, laying it on too thick. Just a few troopers here and there. I'm wondering if the zombies might just be fresh out of troopers. No, there's a ton, again, just sort of stuck over here. Let's try and drag these guys back into the battle. I won't put them into the main room, but I will gear them in that direction so they stop hugging this wall and, you know, being the derpy AI that they are. Um, and, of course, these guys back here. But all in all, the zombies are seriously low on troopers um, in terms of everything here. They, they don't have a lot left. I'm just deleting these pillars so these guys can be freed and maybe join in the battle. But, yeah, Apo has a very real chance of... Uh, defeating these guys, especially with these awesome choke points that they do have right now. Apo is down to just four troopers up here, though. He himself is taking a little bit of fire at the moment. 
Um, how much health you got, Apo? Not a lot. He's got five kills, though. Why don't we heal Apo for him real quick? He just took a dome to the head. If we hadn't pressed heal, he would be dead right now. Grenades being thrown over here. There's only three troopers remaining in this room here, but they've done a valiant defense so far. This guy's got three kills. This guy's got eight. That's impressive. And this guy's got two, so... These guys are holding their own over here. Apo and his troopers. One has two kills. One has one. Apo has five. And this mad lad has one as well. So, um, all in all, all these troopers are doing very, very well. The zombies are sort of surrounding this room. I mean, they're zombies. They uh, they don't have the best of tactics. And, and a big flood of troopers actually coming in here right now. A few of them managing to get really pretty far inside before they get gunned down. But uh, all in all, they do end up getting gunned down, which is good for the defenders. Let's see, one of these guys is a heavy gunner, and that'd be this guy here. And the other two... Oh, no, this one's an elite. That's a heavy gunner, and this is just a standard 501st trooper. So we got some variety in here, actually. Oh, that zombie. Oh, no, no, no. Guys, you have to... You can't be suppressed right now. You have to get up. Oh, they're gonna kill him up. Why, why are these guys suppressed? They just let these zombies come in? Oh, my God. What an anticlimactic way for this defense to end. Wow, okay. At least we still got Sergeant Apo over here. Though he is under a very, very heavy assault at the moment. He's getting domed quite a bit. Since I helped the zombies sort of uh, do their thing, we're going to help Apo by healing him real quick. And then why don't we move him to a better position in the room? Since I did end up moving the zombies themselves into various different positions, so I feel like I owe Apo the same liberty there. And that will sort of even things out. So. Let's move half of the troopers to this side of the room, and oh my god, I don't think we'll have time to move the other two, because these guys are doing a full entrance right now. Apo and his trooper over there having to dodge off to the side. Apo taking a second to heal himself in the middle of battle while his two friends over there ended up dying. He dives to the side again. Apo's the last living commander. He's getting shot while he's down. He's running around. He doesn't know what to do. He throws the grenade, but he goes down. Maybe that grenade will get one last kill. Um, it does not. But the base here has been overrun by the zombos uh, they don't have a lot of troopers left but they did manage to take the base which is pretty huge so uh let me know if you guys want to see a final part in this series right now we can check out and see that the yellow are the zombies and the red are the dead clone troopers and the clones killed hundreds of zombies here i mean they really decimated these guys and it was an impressive battle on their part so let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I will be happy to do more because I'm having a pretty fun time making a bit of this trilogy. Uh, and uh, yeah, check me out on all my social medias. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.